Hi. It's been a while since I've put something together, and uh, I figured grid control 11G would be a, uh, a nice little demo. Uh, I'm actually going to do my first install. I've uh, never installed this before. Uh, just read the docs, and uh, I've taken my time to, uh, to put together an environment that I think will work. Um, <clears throat> it's currently uh, April 21st, and it's very early in the morning, as you can see here, uh, in Calgary. Uh, um, yeah, so I'm really just uh, bored. So anyhow, uh, the announcement is actually, I think, on Thursday, right over here. So, so actually, I managed to download this a little bit in advance and uh, set up a little environment. I was going to uh, sit it on top of a rack for the OMR, but uh, decided to go with something simple. So anyhow, I've uh, installed 11GR2. Uh, unpatched. Uh, I've created a database um, and I've also installed WebLogic Server uh, into a home. Um, no SOA suite, nothing special, just just a straightforward home for WebLogic. And um, I believe I have all the prerequisites met for um, <clears throat> for Enterprise Manager 11G release one. So here you can see it's just popped up. Uh, this is all installing in a VM on a, on a reasonably slow machine here. Um, I just also happen to be uh, working on a couple of racks on the side here, just just for just for kicks. And uh, if everything goes well, um, I'll actually um, uh, I'll add them, I'll add agents to those uh, boxes and uh, uh, get them monitored within this enterprise manager. Okay, so uh, I just skipped the uh, the obligatory uh, um, spam page here. And uh, as you can see, uh, we have the ability to uh, incorporate updates along with our um, install so that uh, uh, we don't actually do updates afterwards. Now, keep in mind that uh, we've actually split the install out now. Um, grid control uh, no longer ships with database and um, app server. In fact, we don't sit it on top of app server anymore. It's just on top of WebLogic or Fusion. Um, <clears throat> so. In this case, I want to install a new EM system. I'm not adding an extra OMS because I don't have an existing system. Um, prerequisite checks. Uh, first time, so I hope everything passes. Let's take a look. It's going to make sure it's certified on this OS. Got the packages, all the libs are in place, enough space um, in the inventory too, and enough memory required U limit. And the host name resolves to a valid IP, which is actually one of the IPs uh, associated with a NIC. Um, yeah, somehow it's detected my home uh, for the middleware, which is um, WebLogic, and uh, OMS instance location. This is actually a new location um, where the uh, the actual OMS will reside. So this is where the the um, uh, Java piece will sit. Uh, so we're going to give it some. Uh, give it some passwords. So, all right, there's my logic password and also node manager password. And database host will actually be the uh, this box gc.example.com, gc grid control, um, standard listener, and uh, services em rep. I didn't know what else to call it, so just use the same silly name. You probably know my password too. Hope this connects. Um, one of the requirements is yes. Um, I have to set some parameters. So, oh, uh, yeah, reps already there. And I believe log buffer. Okay, so I'm going to have to. Let's move this aside, move this aside. Ah, session cached cursors equals 200. Ah, log buffer. That's about 485760. Okay, and uh, processes equals 500. Okay, well, obviously this is more for production, but yeah. 
Anyhow, um, Ah, okay. Okay, we're open. There we are. Okay, um, yeah, table spaces, just a file system, invalid characters. Huh? All right, there we go. <laughs> Registration password. All right, we'll just use that same password. And yes, only secure and on allow only secure access to the console. Fine, that's fine. So everything's going to be over HTTPS. Awesome. Um, that's kind of the standard anyhow as of uh, 10.201, I believe. I remember correctly. Uh, so yeah, actually this is kind of nice. Um, we can actually punch in the ports that we want. Um, I'm actually happy with these uh, defaults. So central console 7799. Uh, upload is, you know, okay, we don't really care about that. 4889, okay, that's, some of these are pretty familiar. I hope they're familiar to you guys. Um, so what do I want here? Manage server, yeah, 7799, that's, that's the one. All right, so install. And we wait. Uh, there's a clock down here in the bottom right-hand corner. Um, chances are I'm going to be editing this video so that it doesn't bore you to death. So you can see how long it's going to take based on that. All right, looks like we're done. Um, we're waiting for root scripts. So, oops. All right. And this is starting to feel like uh, EM grid control 10G. So I'll step away again. So as you can see, um, I didn't hang around and wait for this to finish, but um, there it is. At 3.47 a.m., it appears roughly around that time that uh, this thing finished installing. So um, that's it for this video. I'll, um, I'll actually have another recording up uh, later to, uh, to show you a little bit of uh, what I've uh, done in this environment since uh, the installation completed. All right, well, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.